A masterpiece. Best ride ever. Easily the best roller coaster in Texas. These are all reviews of Iron Rattler. Many people claim this ride to be amazing, even calling it one of the best roller coasters on earth. But in this video, I am not only explaining why it's as overrated as a trip to Venice, but why it is truly a complete and utter piece of shit. Before I really get into it, I just want to point out that 90% of you guys aren't subscribed, so, you know, subscribe and turn on that notification bell because I upload new videos just like this one every single week. Iron Rattler is a revitalization of the old Rattler by the roller coaster manufacturer Rocky Mountain Construction, which opened in 2013 at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas as the first hybrid roller coaster to go upside down. This kinda stupid record enabled Iron Rattler to receive ace landmark status, even though it's not on their website, which honestly makes me think that Six Flags might have just put up the plaque themselves. In terms of my actual opinions of this apparently historic coaster, I love it. But just like all the things you love, there comes a time when you need to write a multi-paragraph script on why it sucks and spend hours making an in-depth video on why you hate the thing to release to the public for millions of people to see. So starting off with the least important category and moving up to the most important, first let's talk about looks. Now you see, I was tempted to call this category theming, but then I realized that Iron Rattler has none. <laughs> As you walk under the generic looking entrance, you will come across Hashtag Rotwork As you walk through the bland and sad looking queue I mean, come on, they didn't even try here Literally, all they need is a leaf blower A leaf blower Like, geez, Six Flags, you're not that cheap From there, you walk up the tight switchbacks as you slowly climb up in a single file line to the station. In the station, there really isn't anything either, and before you start talking about the train design, I refuse to praise this ugly creation. I mean, look at it. Bruh. In addition, many people praise the setting of this coaster. How it beautifully dives off and on the quarry and flies through the dirty, green water. But in reality, no, you're just riding through some dead grass. You. Overall, if you go up to Iron Rattler expecting a pretty looking ride with a decent looking queue, then get ready to be like my girlfriend many nights. Real disappointed. This ugliness in the queue, as well as on the ride itself, does take away from the overall experience of this coaster, and it is one of the reasons why I hate Iron Rattler. Next up is something that I always mention in these videos, and that is the restraints. The two main reasons why people love lap bars is that one, they are very comfortable, and two, they make you feel open as you traverse the layout. Iron Rattler's restraints manage to do neither of those things. First of all, instead of a lap bar resting gently onto your waist, it instead comes down onto your thighs, which means that you cannot get nearly as much room in order to enjoy a nice, open, comfortable ride. In addition, this ride has shin guards, but not on both of your legs. No, no, no. Why would they do that? Instead, they have a lightly padded bar that squishes into only your outside shin. Why, you ask? I don't freaking know, like come on, at least do both sides so that I can experience the pain evenly. Overall, the restraint system is not only uncomfortable and restricting, but it also prevents you from experiencing the forces that this ride has to offer, and it is another big reason why I hate Iron Rattler. Speaking of forces, this ride has none in the first place. Yeah, I said it, Irat has weak airtime. Come at me, bro. The main reason why people love RMC coasters is because of that amazing ejector airtime that you get. Those super intense back-to-back -back bunny hills that send you flying out of your seat. 
This is prevalent on coasters like Lightning Rod, Storm Chaser, Wicked Cyclone, and of course, Steel Vengeance. But Iron Rattler, well, let's see what we have here. Good drop, but floater. <laughs> yeah, absolutely nothing. Oh wait, that was supposed to give you airtime? <laughs> Good floater in the back, but that's really it. Oh, that's it? Yeah, that's what I thought. But of course, there are other types of forces that you get through the ride, like, uh... Uh... Yeah, I rest my case. This lack of forces really makes this ride boring and disappointing, and it is the main reason why I hate Iron Rattler. Now for something that is commonly hated on with Iron Rattler, and that is pacing and length. A good coaster will have fun elements from start to finish, and a great one will really bring the action all throughout the ride. Iron Rattler, though, does absolutely nothing from the time that it gets to the bottom of the first drop to when it's about to dive off the quarry for the second time. Unlike other RMCs that really pack in crazy element after crazy element, Iron Rattler just goes through a series of forceless overbanks before hitting the brakes. I mean, this ride has a really good start and a really good finish, but the bulk of the ride just meanders around some dead grass. In addition, this ride is super short. In fact, it's only 5 seconds longer than Twisted Cyclone, which is the short RMCs of all short RMCs. While the shortness of this ride does help it relate to my friend Oaf the Goaf here, for most people, it is a downside. So not only is this ride uneventful and slow, but it is also super short, which leaves riders disappointed and wanting more as they get off this ride. And this is another huge reason why I hate Iron Rattler. And finally, we have Variety. Now RMC has never been very good at this category, often creating repetitive rides full of dumb bunny hops, overbanks, and inversions, but none do repetitiveness better than the good old Iron Rattler. This ride has so few different elements, it might as well be called Metaloids. Yeah, that's right. I can make science jokes, but don't worry, I only do them periodically. Once you drop off that lift hill, you will be greeted by a ride full of overbank, after overbank, after overbank, oh, and one last overbank, with a couple of airtimeless hills and one pretty okay inversion thrown in for good measure. I mean, they just could have done so much more with this coaster. Maybe add a wave turn, some big camelbacks, fertilizer, and Iron Rattler would be awesome. This ride is extremely repetitive and therefore gets boring the more and more you ride it, which is the final reason why I hate Iron Rattler. Overall, Iron Rattler just lacks so many necessary things that really make a coaster. It's failure to provide good aesthetic, restraints, forces, pacing, length, and variety make this coaster lack what it needs to be a world-class coaster or just to be called a good ride. And that is why I hate Iron Rattler. All right, so let me just be clear because apparently I wasn't clear enough. These why I hate slash why it's the best videos are not review videos. In these videos, I take the popular opinion about a coaster and try to prove the opposite. So basically why I hate Steel Vengeance, why I hate Iron Rattler, why I hate Texas Stingray, something along those lines. But they are not my actual opinions. For example, I love Steel Vengeance, love Iron Rattler, love Texas Stingray. And yes, I'm being overdramatic with all of the points I make in this video, but that's the freaking point, man. So basically, if you left one of these comments and I've left a timestamp to this part of the video, bruh. Alrighty, now let's get into the outro. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Like I said at the beginning, 90% of you guys aren't subscribed, so do me a favor and subscribe to this channel and turn on post notifications so that you don't miss the new videos that I upload every single week. Check out the channels that some of this footage came from on screen now and in the description below. Anyways, I will see you all next time. Peace out.